And finally tonight, a young man who reminds us that a whole world awaits just beyond the horizon. His childhood put him in a wheelchair. His spirit used the chair to soar. Our Neil Karlinski is here again. He met our person of the week. At this skate park in suburban Las Vegas, it takes a lot to impress the daredevil crowd of teenage regulars. But the one who everyone <laughs> wants to watch is the last person you'd even expect to see here. Oh, yeah. 18-year-old Aaron Fotheringham, known to kids here as Wheels. He looks at the world from the seat of his wheelchair and doesn't see obstacles, just new things to jump. He's turned his wheelchair into an extreme sport, outdoing other kids by routinely pulling off something we could hardly believe until we saw it. I don't think any drug on earth could do that. <laughs> Take another look from his point of view, a complete backflip. A lot of people think of the wheelchair as a medical instrument. I think that's wrong because, you know, why not think of it as something fun? So this is what, a crash landing? Yeah, this is a mishap. His um, mother says he's had that attitude his whole life, a life that's included more than his share of struggles after being born with spina bifida, a birth defect of the spinal cord that's left Aaron without the use of his legs. We credit a lot of his progression or desire to do what he's doing to the fact that we were told by the doctors that he would be completely incapable. You know, looking at taking care of him for his whole entire life, and look at what he's done. Today, he travels the world with other extreme athletes, doing things like this incredible jump off a 50-foot ramp, and just weeks ago, pulling off the first ever double backflip in a wheelchair. Hey, Mom, I just landed the first double backflip on a wheelchair. But the excitement and adrenaline Aaron gets can't compare with the inspiration he gives. You go first. No, you. Yeah. Zach no, is one you. of thousands I'll, who I'll see in Aaron you. possibilities for a life they thought was only for other kids. <laughs> He's a hero. He's a hero. Disabled. You don't like that word? No, because it's it's almost, what's the word, degrading when someone calls you that because it's like disabled. I believe like the definition of that is unusable, like doesn't work, you know? Aaron doesn't believe in limits. His favorite song is appropriately called Something to Live For. And like every other teenager out here, he just wants to shred. And so we choose Aaron Fotheringham, not only for what he does, but for that little giggle we just heard from the little boy in a wheelchair looking up at him.